We're going to service this AVK fire hydrant. There's two ways to service some of these hydrants. This is a newer style. Some have a grease zerk here and you just require a grease gun to uh, grease the threads on the operating nut. Usually we carry one with us. It's dirty, it's messy, but this has food grade grease in it. All you have to do is you put it on the grease zerk, give it two or three shots of grease, and should have enough. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to take it apart, because some of them don't come with that. And make sure your isolation valve is off before you take this hydrant apart. Make sure it's turned off so is that if something ever happens, you don't have a live hydrant and water shooting out of the top of it. Works better if you have an impact. Undo the bolts, it's a little faster. On this particular hydrant, it has a set screw that holds a little collar in place. Please, whatever you do, do not drop this in the wintertime, it's very hard to find. This locks the operating or the bearing nut in place so that it doesn't turn when you're operating the hydrant. Take it off. Put the nut in there, or the bolt somewhere safe, like in the cap of the operating nut. Once you're at this point, you need a pipe wrench. There is a special tool for this. I don't have it. So we're gonna use a pipe wrench. As long as you're careful with a pipe wrench, you won't wreck it. Loosen it off. This is the nut to hold it in place. To servicing this hydrant is not very much. Okay, take some food grade grease, and in the bottom of this, you paint a little bit in there onto where the thrust washer goes, the friction washer. Do a little bit on the thread so as that it doesn't go all the threads and you can get it back together a little easier. This is your bearing. It's a little nylon washer. Don't lose it, you need it. Put that in there. Put a little more food grade grease on top of it. Take your operating or your uh, bearing nut, put it back on over the stem. Do this by hand to make sure that it doesn't cross thread. Because these things are very famous for cross threading. Like this one. Once you have it started with your fingers, put your hydrant wrench back on, run your nut down till it just becomes a little taunt. Back it off to the next available slot for the locking ring. Put your locking ring in it, it has a notch in it. Put it on, put your screw back in. Put your operating cap back on. Make sure you start the bolt. Don't just use the impact to do it. You can do this with an Allen wrench also. Tighten it up. Your hydrant is serviced. When you're servicing your fire hydrant, it's always a good idea to take these caps off. Just to make sure that they don't, see how dry this is? There's no lubrication at all. Just makes it easier for the fire department to get the nut caps off when they're in an emergency situation. Paint a little bit of grease on it. Put the nut back on. When you do flush this hydrant, after you've serviced it and you want to flush it, after you've closed the hydrant, your cap is off. Take your hand, place it over the nozzle, make sure you create a vacuum. Once you feel a vacuum, release your hand, you can hear it sucking the air in. Leave the cap off, go back, go to your next fire hydrant, flush it, then come back to this one, install your cap after it's done draining. Because if you don't drain it, come wintertime it'll freeze and it's no good to you. Tighten it up. This should be no more than just hand tight. And if you have a fairly strong person, they can hand tighten it good enough. 
And that's all there is to the servicing of Navy K Hydrant. Have a nice day.